Hiding the variant of the rebel, which is an Irish wet fly. Who I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B175 size 10. Uni thread in black. We simply start the thread at the eye of the hook, but down a layer of thread all along the shank until we reach the barb. Basically until you let the bobbin go, and it should be in line with the barb of the hook. And then remove the waste piece. For the tail, I'm using Glow Bright Floss number 15, which is a quite a, a purple, it's a light purple. And that's the one to use. Don't use this is I've used other colours but are better looking purples, but they always come back to that. Now that's the length of the body I want, and that's the length of the tail. So if you imagine, just trim it there. You could go a wee bit shorter, it's entirely up to yourself. Uh rib. This is a counter rib. I'm going normally it's got a pearl rib on it. But in itself it's not strong enough. So I'm going to counter rib it with a fine Silver wire. Now the rib of the fly is a uh, number, well I'm using a f uni pearl number 14, which is a medium thickness. It, it does say to use, if in the original, a fine pearl, but I like the medium, so I catch it on the side. And I'm going to concentrate on just tying in the ribs and the tail. Take your time and run the thread up, covering it, making everything nice and tight. Now you're looking for a, a space around about 3mm at the eye, between this point here, tying in your hackles and your wing, and the eye. And then bring your thread back up, quite quick, you don't have to be touching turns in the way. Just need to use some, we're putting seals fur on so it doesn't have to be too even. If I was putting on a mylar body or something like that, would basically come up much better than that. But if it's a dub body you don't have to be too fussy. Now this is seals for dyed claret. Dub it onto your thread. Just want a nice enough body, just twisting and tightening as you go. Forming a nice shape. Take away the excess. Now I'm going to basically everything I tie or when I'm tying something on, I'm always tying away from myself. But I'm going to bring the weak material, like the pearl, towards myself. And then counter rib it, as they call it, to protect. Bring it towards myself at least four turns. Cross my thread, two or three turns either side, just to hold it in. And then trim away. Now the body hackle can be a natural black, or in this case it's dyed black. This is a cock hackle. It's one of the white and hebert minor saddle hackles which are, are very good. Now I do a full turn to the top and then basically when you're coming down you'll find that you're actually coming down on top of the pearl. Now that's what you want. You don't want to be on the, the seals fur. That's why I use a, instead of a small, I use a, uh, the weight and the medium. It's because the hackle is going to sit on this, slightly cover it up, so you need you need to see some of the pearl showing through. And then bring your rib up the normal way, normal way you wind. And then as you counter ribbing, both the rib and the hackle, holding it on. Draw back the fibres, bring your wire up, and then tie it down. Bend and break it off. I need to cut if you do that. Break off the hackle. I'm going to bring some of the seals fur out through and into the hackle. I'm not sure if I mentioned the actual tail. What The glow bright floss is quite thin, which is thin as near enough as a 6 0 thread. Uh, there's 12 strands on there to form the tail. And then brushed to form a nice and brushes and it brushes together really well. And as you see it makes a, a nice tail. There you go. And then you need some brown partridge. Now you could use you could use a standard hackle, normal that would just reach to the middle of the tail, or 
In this case, I'm going to use a bigger hackle. I want it to go slightly further back. Just, I feel it suits the fly. You can tie the fly whatever way you like. See, this is a, this is a slight variant of the rebel itself. Just draw back the tip, basically tucking it back, making it much stronger. The way I tie that one is really, it's got to break. It can't, it can't pull out. Just draw these fibres back. Now, I've obviously taken away the fluff at the bottom. And then, turn in front of the other, just wind it down. There we go. Crush your thread. Take away. And there we go, that's part of it. Now, I've got a medium bronze mallard feather. This is the kind of size I've got. Now, I like to remove the fluff at the bottom. First part is for the, the wing. Just bring it 90 degrees from the stem and then I tear it off and sit it on my desk. And then the top part I use for the throat. It's just you can tear it off. Now you can either fold it and tie it in. Or what I like to do at times I just split it. You'll see the curving away. And then come in, offer it on the sides. Just basically poking the eye of the hook through so it sits underneath. Come round with a couple of loose turns and then tighten up. Now you're looking for a length that's just towards the back or towards the, the back of the hook. Trim away the excess. You could have it from between the point and the barb. You can have it shorter. It's entirely up to you. You watch just to see. Going back here because I've caught one of the fibres. Leave it too long, so I'm going to take it out. At this point, make sure you've got wax on your thread. You need all the grip. I usually like to bring the thread to the front. Basically build the thread from the front up. And then I'm going to fold this, fold the wing. Now, the weakest point or the colour in this fibre is down in the bottom end. Now, fold that in first. Just roll it. And you see on this side here, just folding it, rolling it, all the way up, and that's your wing formed. Just towards the tips, towards the end of the tail. It's pinching loop. You have two or three thumbs to make sure it's secure. Check, see how it's sitting. I'm happy with that. Trim away the waste. Again, make sure you've got wax on your thread. Now always bring the thread to the front and work the thread from the front up and into the cut ends. You find it much stronger and easier to build up the head. Just basically what you're doing is building up a step. Now I added part of this is to add some I've got some pre knotted pheasant tail legs, these are dyed black. Looking for six down either side. If you bring them 90 degrees from the stem you'll find tips will naturally line up. Tear them off once they've done, once they've lined up. And then separate them three either side of the hook. Just come into the sides, obviously slightly longer. Again, make sure you catch them down and wax on your thread. Trim away the excess. Tidy up. Now, this is what makes the, the rebel totally changes the look of the fly. As you put some, this is some old gold, as I call it, old gold tinsel. Nice and dark, not a light colour, or a very yellow gold. Just catch it on the side. Now it's a medium thickness, you could use a, a small if you want. Make sure you've got wax on your thread at this point. And then you just simply do a 
Og i døtene, men så fortene, beser jeg her for så, og ikke spør en til. And then you tie it off. And I'll just draw it back, and I'm going to quick finish, which is slightly different, and quick finishing up the way, and onto the tinsel. It does tie off doing that. It's not as neat as you would get if you were tying forward, or quick finishing forward. But, it gets the job done. Now what I'm going to do here is, normally a coat of varnish, two or three coats of varnish, and that's the job finished, but I'm going to use some bug bond, and I'll show you the type of head you get with the bug bond. You need to put the fine nozzle on. So work it all the way around. You get a really nice shiny head. Now I always finish off with a fine coat of varnish anyway, so... A nice shape in the head that you like. Make sure your bottle's out of the way. And then come in with your UV light and set it. Now the head shines is I mean it's it's really really good. Uh it makes things much quicker. The bulk bond is one of the best things that's come on the market for a wee while when it comes to especially this type of application and there's a few other applications that you can use it and you've probably seen it seen me tying with it and that should be it and a really a really fine coat of varnish I mean this is really fine thin varnish all the way around and the job's done that dries within within the hour the fly is ready to use. And there you go. That's uh, the variant of the rebel. Nice pattern to tie. Just make sure your eyes nice and clean. That's fine. Mm -hmm.